Hello my lovelies, welcome to my first Christmas set for the season. I am going to sculpt these nails on my client and we're going to do a snow inspired set. I'm starting off with the middle finger and I'm using this cover powder from Pink Diva Nail Supply and I'm using it to extend the natural nail bed and make it look longer than what it actually is because when I finish sculpting the nail bed I'm going to use clear acrylic to extend the free edge of the nail. Initially I'm only putting down a really thin layer of the clear because once I've got it into shape and it's dried enough I'm going to stick into it these little stickers of snowflakes just a couple one on either side of the nail and when they're down then I will encapsulate them with some clear acrylic and when this nail is complete and polished it will look clear on the free edge but you'll be able to see the snowflake in it so it's quite a cute little look I'd say I'm not so sure why I started off with the middle finger <laughs> but now I'm back to the beginning with the pinky and this nail is going to be entirely white. I'm using C&D's white acrylic powder and I'm forming the free edge at the moment and when that's nice and ready I'm going to go back with another bead and finish off the cuticle part of this nail. Next in line is the ring finger and here I'm going to do a French ombre. So I'm just using white acrylic to extend the free edge and then into it I'm pressing tiny flakes of mylar and then on top of that I will add the cover pink powder and bring it down over the French part to sort of encapsulate the mylar in some sections but to encapsulate the entire nail on the free edge I'm going to go back with some clear acrylic powder and seal in the part where the pink cover did not cover the mylar. Now I'm working on the pointer finger and I'm extending it using the cover pink which I used on the ring finger and the middle finger. So I've, I formed the free edge and now I'm going back with my cuticle bead completing this nail. But before it dries 100% I'm going to use my wet brush and dip it into some chrome flakes and then scatter it across the nail. To seal in the chrome flakes I have to encapsulate the nail with some clear acrylic. That way when it comes time to filing I don't file away the gorgeous chrome flakes which I have encapsulated. Now moving on to the thumbnail, again I'm using my gorgeous cover pink colour to create a, an extended nail bed. Once I perfect the smile line with my brush, I'm then going to come in with some clear acrylic again and place a nice thin layer down on the form. Once that clear layer has firmed up enough, I'm going to press into it some snowflake stickers and then use some more clear acrylic to encapsulate them in place. I've gone ahead and completed the other hand off camera and now I'm coming back to the first hand which is nice and dry and I'm just using my 80 grit file to shape these nails. Once the shape is perfected I'm just going to use my E file to smooth over the surface of the nails and get it ready for the next step of the service. You guessed it, the next part is my favourite part. It's bling time. I just love bling. I get so disappointed when clients tell me they don't want bling. Anyway, I'm, I'm using gorgeous Swarovski crystals in different shapes and sizes and I'm basically clustering them onto the ring fingers down the side cuticle and side wall of the nail. And the rest of the nails are also going to get some scattered Swarovskis across them too. And when that's complete and they're all in place, I am just going to use some no wipe top coat to paint around the crystals. Remember not to paint over them because they will lose their gorgeous shine. And once the top coat is on all the nails, I'm going to cure them in my LED light for one minute. And when that's done, these nails will be ready for reveal. Also, I'm top coating underneath my clear nails to make sure they look nice and crystal clear. Thank you. 
And here's the completed look, my lovelies. Be sure to let me know down below in the comments what you thought of this set. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss any videos I upload in future. So that's all I have for you today, my lovelies. But in the meantime, YouTube recommends you might enjoy this video next. Well, I recommend you might enjoy this one. Which one will you choose? I'll see you next time. Bye!